So it's a fun one. It's a fun, fun question from uh, who who asked it originally? Who who asked this? Did Kanga try this? Who asked? It? I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to give you credit. Not me, Kangas. Okay, what's Kangas? Our very open Google employee. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say it. Um, he's been asking, so or she or they, I don't know. Been asking about organizing. Uh, am I okay saying so? If not, I can delete this video. Kind of. You keep telling me it's okay to say it, and it's a he him. Okay, nice. You don't mind. Whew. This, this streaming stuff is hard with the pronouns and not knowing the docs in it or not, blah, 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 blah. It's hard. It's hard, but I, I'm, I'm managing. I'm managing. Uh, they're talking, they're, don't mind them. They're talking about linters for GCC, but that's okay. We'll let them talk behind us here. Uh, how about organizing a tech conference on Twitch? Um, this kind of, I think this question followed up on the question about the AFK Works Association for Federation Knowledge Workers. The Association for Federated Knowledge Workers uh, is supposed to be uh, an organization that I wanted to get together. That's a bunch of knowledge workers who come together and help um, Chet Cheddar is <laughs> supposed to be a group of um, knowledge workers that come together and help, you know, lift where they stand and help the world grow and, and share their knowledge as mentors um, helping us. It's something that we've always wanted to do. And I talked about how that's been postponed by my full-time job, trying to learn Kubernetes and get certified by the end of 2022 uh, 2021, hopefully, chit chitter. <laughs> the peanut gallery is talking again. So the answer is yes. I th I think it'd be a great idea to organize a tech conference on Twitch. Um, I particularly because we have people from all over the world who participate in this forum here. Uh, some of whom are chatting in the background right now, um, and they're they're from all over the place, uh, and they have all kinds of skills from from all over the world, and and this is the kind of thing that you couldn't do remotely. Uh, there are already uh, people that are doing uh, conferences like this. Uh, I'm going to give them credit, even though I don't, I particularly don't particularly like uh, Neo Vim. The the people that are behind uh, Vim, uh, the Vim conference, which um, you know I, I find interesting that they that they named it Vim when it's pretty much a Neo Vim conference. Doesn't matter. They're able to do it on Discord, and they've been able to do it, you know, on Twitch and and pull that off and to water <laughs> and. There's, there's, there's been a lot of, you know, talk about, about that. And now that I'm doing, as I mentioned in the news tonight, as, I, as I'm, I'm starting to do more IRL stuff, more organization, uh, I'm actually thinking about doing a regional conference. Um, this kind of goes along with my new IRL thing. I'm going to be kind of the tech journalist. And when I go out uh, for bike rides and stuff like that, I'm going to take my laptop to get my work done. And I'm going to be, you know, streaming from the road. Uh, it's one of my dreams. Like by 2023, I'll be... At least regularly on the weekends, I'll be I'll be doing bike trips to visit people in tech, and to interview them, and uh, potentially you know go to meetups. Uh, now that COVID is less of a thing, it's still a thing, but you know, and um, you know just kind of get out there and and be like a roving reporter instead of like stuck here in front of you know my closet sort of thing in my room here. So so the answer is yes, and the first conferences that I do. Um, we already kind of have a conference thing going on just by having the community here, right? It's kind of an ongoing, constant conference. Um, and I, the problem with it, too, is I have to be careful. Um, so the answer, yes, eventually. Um, and I, I want to start small. Uh, so I want to I want to start small uh, regionally uh, and in IRL uh, with uh, remote. So I plan on having some sort of you know local meetup uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to anyway, and uh, we have a couple of people locally that I know, some of whom helped encourage me to be a a streamer in the first place. Um, one of them, LTN Bob, comes to mind. And getting, I mean, there's there's a community college that's already probably available to do this kind of thing. It has remarkable resources uh, right up the street actually for me, and I I know one of the guys who used to run it, so pretty much. And um, so I kind of want to do that and then make it make it virtual and I would take full responsibility for it so the school doesn't have to. school has all kinds of like rules and stuff for like putting live stream up because you gotta get waivers for everybody that's that appears and all this stuff and just another reason to not run a school um, so yeah the answer is yes um, uh, and then we'll, we'll start doing you know regionally with IRL stuff 
Um, and then um, I want to, you know, work it into uh, uh, bigger AFK Works conferences. Uh, and, you know, people, um, uh, regional, regional meetups. And I, what I really want to do there is I want to put kind of a structure. I actually started this with something called SOIL, the Sustainable Open Interactive Learning, which was target. It was a, it was, it was a failed nonprofit that I tried to do that was targeted at specifically at educators. And I tested it on a few educators and they frankly didn't want anything to do with it. They, they weren't interested in mentoring outside of their busy schedule that I already had. And I was like, well, what if, you know, what if you took what you did and maybe you started your own mentorship communities and did some private mentoring, you could spread the love and all that stuff. And they're like, I'm too fucking tired anyway. I can't do it. I can't do any of that, which is really sad because they can't, the people that have that knowledge are unable to actually do you know, mentoring in the way that works the most. And those that do are usually just like superhero kind of teachers. So, so I do want to encourage people to do that. So eventually AFK works as opposed to association for federated knowledge workers. These are knowledge workers that are stepping up to the plate and you know, to use a baseball metaphor, which I never play, uh, you know, and they're, they're doing it. They're taking hits to get to first base <laughs> and they're helping people. They're sharing with them and like putting structure on what that looks like. So this is actually, this is probably not going to happen. Uh, not until after, uh, until after I get the, uh, until after I get open, the open credential merit system finished. Um, this is super important. I just paid $300 for the domain, uh, which is not up yet, but OCMS.cc. And this is this is the core of of all of the learning, and it's the thing I've been struggling with for more than five years. I finally think I'm getting a handle on it. There's lots of videos on it, lots of writing on it, but it's basically merit badges for anything, and a way to list requirements so people know what they don't know, so they can then go build their own plans autodidactically and then seek out to do them. And that's it's called Occam's is uh, on purpose. It's Occam's you know, badges, Occam's credentials, which are designed to help people cut through and know what they need to learn uh, and have, you know, industry professionals agree on what those things are that they need to learn and fork them. You may have somebody who has a different opinion. You can fork it. It's all open source. So why, how, these are, if I was going to have a tech conference, these are the things that I would have a conference about. Uh, I would have, so bringing up the OCMS system, bringing up Pegan, uh, so Pegan, uh, uh, pegging promotion uh, and adoption uh, would be in there. That would be uh, pegging.dev. This is a meta language that I made uh, based on Brian Ford's language and uh, with help from the community. So these are all things that fall under a tech conference umbrella. Um, there's all the Kubernetes stuff. And, and I, I, th I feel like the Kubernetes stuff, uh, Occam's could be an NMT. It could. <laughs> Occam's SCC, yeah. Um, and you know, there's, there's a bunch of stuff, there's a bunch of stuff there, um, to, to handle, uh, I don't intend to do anything with NFTs, by the way, just in case you're wondering, uh, but so there are a number of topics. I don't think it will involve anything, nothing with Kubernetes. And the reason for that is because Kubernetes already has Kubicon. Uh, so I want to support those things. Um, uh, I should probably disclose that. Uh, I've been, you know, informally asked to, to review some of the educational material for 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 Kubernetes, um, and I I personally aspire once I clean my plate, right, uh, to help, you know, as part of my open source contributions to help you know, help improve the Kubernetes learning community as well, uh, because it's my daily thing. It's the thing I do all the time. Might as well write it up, right? So so that's that's where that's going. How does that work into a tech conference? I don't know. I I think that just means that. I don't think we're going to have a cloud native Twitch conference. I, I mean, I might, you know what I might do? This would be something I have to talk about is, you know, what about, uh, I might, I might consider, um, uh, creating, uh, a KubeCon, you know, uh, Twitch liaison, you know what I mean? So we could, uh, is that the right word? Liaison, liaison. I, I think that might be something we could do. I'd have to talk to people that are over there at that organization before we make any decisions there. But I might be able to facilitate a, a Twitch element of KubeCon. Uh, I don't know what that would look like. And KubeCon is, you know, they want to make money. They don't release their videos until after a month after. So 
I imagine. I don't know. I don't know what that would look like, but that's possible. I'm possible. I might might talk to some people about that. Um, so so the answer is yes, eventually, but you know we got to do things right. Um, and I'm 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 all about doing this. If if anybody wants to help uh, organize this kind of stuff, I, I mean I can't even get through my fucking Discord let alone organize a conference. <laughs> we do have some powerhouses in the house, though. So Quint is one of the two uh, uh, FOSS, uh, original FOSS conference organizers. We've got we've got a lot of people here who have a lot of clout in doing this. And frankly, I don't necessarily want to make a conference if there's already a conference that I can support. And I don't really like conferences in general. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't really do conferences. And I, I probably shouldn't say this, but... Conferences to me are often a waste of time, and and it's because it's because you know I, I consider a conference a good way to meet people, and that's awesome, or, or to meet the, your your idols and that kind of thing. Uh, but other than that, they're kind of a waste of time. They certainly aren't worth paying money for. Uh, <laughs> I just made like a ton of enemies by saying that. But I I would rather go to a local meetup and meet the people and you know there and help them you know get jobs and network and stuff. And, and, and then, then to go to a conference and learn something. I don't, I don't ever go to a conference to learn anything because anything I can learn from a conference, I can learn in 10 minutes at home. You know, there, there's, there's never been a conference where something has been revealed that was so groundbreaking that I couldn't just Google it or stayed in touch with it and maybe already knew it. But if you can sit at the feet of, you know, somebody who you admire and get to meet them and, and that kind of thing, that's when I would go to a conference. Is it worth $500 for that? Probably not. So Twitch might might be an alternative to that. You know, I, I absolutely love the idea of going to uh, to meet to virtually. I used to run a virtual worlds for IBM, um, the IBM uh, mentors community. I ran that and I helped to organize you know, virtual conferences, much like with Twitch would be, but in Second Life, to meet, you know, the three amigos that did, you know, the created object oriented programming and at least class based object oriented programming and had these conversations, stuff that you could never do uh, in person. And in fact, I used to drive drive an hour and a half away to go to a Ruby meetup. Um, when I found out that that's how I got into Second Life, I found out there was a Ruby meetup in Second Life, and I went in there and sat in a virtual chair and met a ton of people that were doing Ruby development all over the world. So Twitch very, very fits into that space very well, and God knows we need more positive content out there, unless you know screens full of of Discord people fighting with each other about just chatting drama. And if you've been in Twitch, you know what I mean. <laughs> If you look around, we can do better than that. We can provide, I mean, you know, do what they want. I don't, I'm not judging, but I, I, I think it could be used for, for more things, more positive angles. On it. And so to that end, I'm kind of beating this to a death, but, but yes, the answer is yes. Just a matter of time. Uh, 832. All right. Next question. Next question. How many am I going to?